Hey everybody, it's Mike from Altair. I just want to go over the trim functions with the Altair Aerial Blackhawk. So let's take a look at the remote control here. And there's going to be three trim functions, and you'll see this in the direction book. You've got a trim button here, which is for the rotational trim. So this is underneath your left analog stick. So if your drone is hovering and it's spinning, and you don't want it to be spinning if it's spinning right or left, and you're not actually causing it to do that, it's just doing that on its own, this is the right and left trim. So if you push it left, it's going to beep once. That means you trimmed it to the left once. You're trying, you're making it rotate to the left a little bit with each beep. So if, you, if it's spinning to the right a lot, you want to beep it a lot to the left. And the other way, if it's spinning to the left, you want to trim it. Each beep once means you trimmed it a little bit. So you trim it to the right or trim it to the left to control the rotational spin. The other trim button is right here. This is for forward and backward trim. If you're trying to hover and it's going forward on you, then trim it down right here by the right analog stick, trim it down. If it's floating backwards, you want to trim it forward. And you trim it a little bit and then you fly it a little bit and hover and see what it's doing. Trim it a little bit more, then fly it a little bit and test it out and do this somewhere where there's very little wind so you can get a good grasp on it. The third trim button is right here beneath the right analog stick. This one's going to be trimming for uh, this lateral movement, left or right, like this. So if it's floating to the left on you, you want to trim it to the right. If it's floating to the right on you, you want to trim it to the left. And just keep adjusting those trims. You, should, you shouldn't really have to do it out of the box. Um, if you start to fly it and it immediately starts to get off, yeah, I would take some time, sit down for 5-10 minutes and just work on that trim. It's going to pay off in the long run because you're going to be able to hover a lot more cleaner and the controls are going to be a lot better. So spend some time getting used to that trim and practice flying before you take it out into a long range. Okay? Thanks.